Learning objective one to describe the functions of muscle. So muscular tissue contributes to homeostasis by producing body movements, moving substances through the body and producing heat to maintain normal body temperature. Looking at each of these functions in more detail and movements of the body, such as walking, running, nodding your head, picking up a pencil, are all a result of muscular contraction. Muscles attach to bones via tendons, and when a muscle contracts, it gets shorter and it pulls on the bone to create an action at the joint. Aside from creating movement at our joint, opposing muscles, for example, our triceps and our biceps, or our hamstrings and our quads, can work together to produce slight contractions simultaneously to stabilize a joint or body region. For example, while we are awake, both our abdominal muscles and our back extension muscles will remain in a state of slight contraction called muscle tone to keep our bodies in a stable and upright position. Muscles can store glycogen, which is a stored form of glucose or carbohydrate. Muscles in the gastrointestinal tract produce rhythmic wave-like contraction called peristalsis, which moves the digested food through the digestive system. And muscles of the left and right ventricles contract to move blood around the body. Lastly, when muscles break down ATP to create the energy to contract, some of that energy is lost as heat and is why our body is warmed up. This explains why we get hotter when we exercise and also why we shiver when we are cold. 